This is a Sportsman 850 XP 2010 model I have for sale. Do a quick walk around, then I'll tell you all what's added on to it. Notice this rim doesn't have a center cap, but I have one on order to replace it. First thing is ITP 312 SS wheels, 14 inch. I have either 27 or 28 inch. ITP Mud Light XTRs on all four corners. Built a custom sound tube sitting on the front. Has four six and a half Bazooka Marine speakers. I have a custom built. This is a full AM FM CD player radio that's in a marine box enclosure and a custom metal enclosure to mount to the handlebars. I went this way instead of an amp so that you have more control over your audio as far as treble and bass and I think it sounds much better than ones with amps stuck in the tubes. I don't have an antenna hooked up to it so Instead of using the radio on this, I have an auxiliary cord run out of here and it comes through the enclosure and back around. And you can either hook it into this Sony AM FM tuner that has different preset controls and stuff on it, or you can unplug the auxiliary from it. And I have a 30 gig iPod that's in a waterproof enclosure that you can control everything on it, track movement, volume, menu, everything on it and you don't have to worry about getting water or anything on it or even you could drop it in the water and nothing will happen to it. This iPod and enclosure and the mount that's on it is all included with it. <clears throat> you see right here I have a baggie instead of just running wires all through this and straight up to the tuner I have a plug that's inside this bag so that if for some reason you have to remove this tube you don't have to worry about the plugs and all that stuff all the wires and everything run you can just un take this bag off undo the plug and then take these clamp straps off and the tube can just come straight off but you can remove this cover that's on the front of it you can open the two lock and ride tabs and pull the whole thing up with the speakers on it to get to the battery and just turn it sideways. I also have a two inch rubber down lift on here and I also added these mud uh, fenders on all four corners to help keep the mud off of you. <clears throat> this right here on this side is a custom built ice chest that's insulated and on the other side over here is a custom built storage box and they're not bolted to it in any way I actually use the lock and ride holes that are on the rear rack so it's easily removable and to make it even easier for the ice chest if you need to drain the water and stuff out of it instead of having to get to the lock and ride tabs I have these quick release tabs on three different points right here and then the ice chest can be lifted up out of this tray that it's in right now There's 
plenty of storage in this box to put any kind of tools or any extra stuff you need to run with it. And it also has a water lip right here so you don't have to worry about water splashing up and getting into the box. It stays nice and clean. So you got plenty of storage in here. Also have this is the wireless remote up here on the front. This is a 3,000 pound Moto Alliance wireless winch. You can either use that wireless remote that I just showed you or there's also the top hand controls up here. I also have a cup holder attached to the handlebars. This little box right here is to turn your winch on to either use the wireless or use the handle controls on the handlebars. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's 2010 Sportsman 850 XP four wheel drive. Send me a text or email and let me know if you're interested. Asking 7500 or best offer on it. And remember that the 30 gig iPod is included with it with the waterproof case. Also, there's one other thing I forgot to mention. I don't know if you can see it very well. But up in there, you can see there's four tubes running up into the light pod. For all the mud riders and creek riders, I have a triangle stealth snorkel that's got two two uh, CVT exhaust tubes running up into the light pod and it also has two air box tubes running up into the light pod so as long as you keep the water below about right here you'd be good. I went this route just because I didn't like the way that the snorkels and stuff looked like coming out the front of the four wheeler and also didn't want to cut the plastics so I went this route and it you can't tell that it's even snorkeled but I've gone anywhere and everywhere that all my other friends with big snorkels go in the creeks and in the mud and haven't had a problem so just to let you know it is snorkeled